Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Hey, isn't this a beautiful shot right here? This is live from the Sheraton in Jeffersonville. We're looking back off to the southeast over the bridges, the Kennedy and the Lincoln, and check out those towering cumulus clouds way out there on the southeastern horizon. This is actually a thunderstorm in progress over Spencer County in Kentucky, very close to Taylorsville right now as it moves off to the east and also the northeast. Hey, we had another round of rain, as you know, last night and this morning, much of which fell north of the metro. In town itself, the official tally was just three one hundredths of an inch of rain from that system late last night and this morning. Nonetheless, for the month, we are now a little above average good to see as far as that rain that did come down earlier today you can see uh, basically north of interstate 64 it's where the heaviest rain was located you see the greens even some yellows showing up off to the north one to two locally three inches of rain coming down but the farther south you go not much at all however that is now starting to change as the main thunderstorm zone this evening looks to be setting up to the south of the metro. You know, after those showers, uh, the sun broke out and it was hot and humid. Went up to 90 degrees, but the heat index was flirting with the upper 90s to near 100. 37th time this summer season with highs up over that 90 degree mark. Right now we're 88 in town. Humidity 59%. Man, you can feel it out there. It's muggy. The feel like is still 95 with a west northwesterly wind in here about 10 miles an hour. So here's the latest radar. Nothing around the metro, but you can certainly see a couple of downpours. There's that little shower that was showing up on the tower cam right around Taylorsville. Additional showers kind of scattered about Franklin County, very co uh, close to the capital city. And how about these blowing up on the Western Kentucky Parkway right around Litchfield out to Caneyville, then on into southern portions of Ohio County. And it looks to me the greatest chance for scattered storms going forward the first half of tonight will be south of this red line you see, basically south and east of the metro area. But having said that, everybody will have rain chances again late tonight and from time to time tomorrow. So let's talk about that. Seven o'clock tonight, notice where the zone of storms is popping to the south of the metro. Later on tonight, I think after midnight, we'll get into another chance for widespread showers and storms across the viewing area lingering into tomorrow morning. A break tomorrow afternoon and guess what? Here comes another batch in here tomorrow evening. So it won't rain continuously at any one location, but keep those umbrellas handy, certainly right through Friday morning as the unsettled weather pattern will continue. Outside the storms tomorrow afternoon, it's gonna be another hot, humid day. Temperatures in the upper 80s, possibly near 90, but that heat index will make it feel more like the mid and upper 90s. Now the good news. After this front moves through Friday morning, and we will have a rain chance Friday morning, by Friday afternoon, here we go. Here comes the less humid air. Beautiful weather will start moving in by Friday late day, and that means a good chunk of the weekend right now is looking fantastic. Here's our forecast. Warm, sticky, scattered storm chances basically to the south and east of the metro. Temperatures in the 80s. Your detailed 12-hour forecast, all right. Not going to rain all day tomorrow, but the greatest threat for showers, first part of the day, and then as we move towards tomorrow evening, in between partly sunny, temperatures around 89, 84 morning showers on Friday, Vicki and Rick, and then Saturday. That's the pick of the weekend. Looks to be a great day. 84 year high, low humidity, a good day to be out and about. The rain chance Sunday looks well south of town, so still a, a good day for many, many folks Sunday. Rain does move back in on Monday, and look what happens after that. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> 95 and 97. Again, extreme heat moves back in next Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm. At least there's no 100s on there like That's last right. week. Not yet. We had a little break. We did, it was, and, and we, we got the much-needed rainfall, yeah. too. That's and right. by the way, with all the rain around the region the past couple, three days, it's been a drought buster, so that's really, really good news. Yep. Thank you, Jay.